Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank. Today we'll be playing Baba is You. Let's jump in. Okay. Let's see, so last time we played we unlocked a few new levels. So we have this little kind of butterfly looking sage in the, the flower garden in the bottom left and we have rocket trip and deep forest. So let's go ahead and see what's in deep forest. Renovating. Uh-oh. So let's see what's applying. Belt is shift, wall is feet. AK is you. Water is soft and flag is win. Okay, well, belt is shift. Wall is feet. Oop, and let's see, water is a stop, so that's not going to hurt us with the wall being there. It's going to be an issue. So, if belt is push, does that make any kind of difference to us? Well, we can move it around, but it doesn't look like we could get past it, per se. Uh, we can remove segments of it, I suppose. So if we put on shift, would that allow us to cross the water? Maybe? Let's see. Nope. Um, let's try doing push again. However, this time we'll put another segment through. This one clip is going to make a difference. We'll double check. Oops. There we go. Nope. Looks like the same deal. Let's reset just in case there is something else here that we can see from the start. We really don't have much to play with from beginning of belt is shift and push is all we have to pull around on this stage so hmm. I can't just backtrack on belt either because of the shift and if I do a push is there maybe a way I can extract segments of it to use against the wall maybe Let's see. I have to push again if I want to get anything out. So if I do this, I can get two segments. And we can start pushing. And let's see what happens when we get this last bit here. I don't think it's going to change anything. We'll see. Yep, it's just instant death. <laughs> so. Let's backtrack to a push state, and who knows, maybe now I can... Hey, there we go. So if I could just get that wall a little bit further out, I'd be good to go, right? Um, let's try doing this, and do it again, and maybe we can take a ride and hit the flag. Okay. Well, that was the first time I saw that puzzle, so I'm pretty happy that I got it. Let's try out Tool Shed. Wall is wall, wall is stop, key is open, Baba is you, and the is push is hanging out, a door is shut, and a win sitting off to the right side of the map with nothing accompanying it. Hmm. How may we take that out? Let's see. And the push is going to be constrained to this bottom part of the wall. And the door is shut, but I can just walk through it anyways. And the wind is sitting there isolated. So maybe there is some sort of way to extract the uh, wind, like perhaps the wall is open, maybe that would negate the wall is stopped. Let's see. Nope, it 
is on enough to negate it. We have the door is shut. Um, let's try pushing some pieces of it out. I guess we have enough area in this inside wall, I believe, that we can continue to play with things. So, wall is open, wall is shut, would be a possibility. Um, we can't really get a wall is push, at least not at first glance. Um, is there a way we could extract that? And we can't get a wall is key, I'm pretty sure that that's not going to fly since it's not an ending yet. Um, let's see, what else could there be? This is an interesting one. Let's look at it from the top just in case something else pops out at us. Wall is wall, wall is stop, key is open, and we have door shut, and then just sitting off to the side, we have Bubba is you, and is push, and win. No, key is open. I suppose if we just ran that over, we could get something going. Um, we can't do is open, is push, I'm pretty sure, but we'll just try. Nope. I'm gonna cut us off a little bit early, so that's how that's gonna be. Um, wall is open. We've already done. Door is shut, but that is not gonna stop us. It's really interesting that we have a door is shut, but not a door is stop. And the key is just sitting there taunting us. And the wind is enclosed by a wall, so I feel like there has to be some way to get the key out of our way. Um, like a wall is push or something, or some way to cancel out the wall is stop. Um, let's see. We could transform the key into a door, or the door into a key, and then do like a key is push and separate out the wall is stop, perhaps. Um, that would be one way of achieving this, but we can't push the key underneath either of the words, so that's going to be stuck. Okay, well we'll take that as a nice first look at that puzzle and try out level 3 just in case it turns out to be something a little bit quicker. Let's see, keep out. Our rules are quite numerous. KK is you, fungus has flag, Ooh, fungus is a new word, belt is shift, bug is defeat, tree is pull, tree is also new, fungus is melt, hedge is stop, tree is hot, and flag is win. So how can we pull this one apart? Tree is pull, which I can literally pull it around. Which is nice. And we have these bugs too. Another new word that I should have mentioned earlier. Fungus is melt. Edge is stop. Honor if we do a fungus is hedge. <laughs> That's just a transformation, so I don't think that will help us, um, at least not necessarily Sage. And I'm trapped over here with this shift going on, so would there be some other way to get through this? The fungus has the flag, and saw Fungus's hedge isn't really going to achieve anything. Let's just restart. I think we have some work to do on the outside before we can pull anything on the inside of that upper middle pocket. Now, 
with three is pull, could we somehow get everything inside of there and achieve something great? Let's try pushing each of the words in there and seeing kind of how that looks. And we could get fungus is pull out of that. And mm, no, actually we can't because we won't be able to push fungus down, unfortunately. Let's take another look from the top. Belt is shift. Oops. And I don't think we'll be able to push where it's past the bug, but if we can, oh, we can. That's good. So can we do something like belt is tree to get rid of the belt, which I just don't think is going to matter at all for our needs here. Um, which means we can just go past it and now the fungus is among us and we could extract the words melt and is but it would just be suck along with the fungus as well this is a good challenge so we do have pull sitting there and I'm interested in this little corner where I've just pushed a tree over to I feel like this could be a subtle hint at maneuvering things around if I could get KK up above the word tree and push down would that take care of things don't know um I'm like just a little bit longer so anything else pops out now, I could do a belt is pull, would be another way to do this instead of a transformation to a tree, and perhaps that would get us further along than we could before. So we extracted the belt, and if the belt has been pulled out like that, could it be rerouted to push say something through um i don't really think so but let's just play along for a minute just in case this is an intended route i not want to help me extract anything that way i don't see it helping extract anything this way either so i think we're going to be kind of stuck with the belt being pulled out like that the fungus has the flag, and the fungus is melt, and the tree is hot. So, if I can get either the tree moving or the fungus moving and somehow the two to meet, it feels like I would have a solution right then and there. Um, I just see no apparent way to get things transitioning in one direction or the other. Um, we may be hauling this belt around is really all it takes. Um, I just don't see a way to do so. Maybe this is another first time map viewing has me hazy, so we'll try level four. Baba doesn't respond. All right, tons of rules again. KK is U, Baba is push, belt is shift, door is stop, hedge is stop, tree is stop, door is defeat, door is open, and flag is win. We have a spare move just sitting over here. We have a shut that's sitting over here, untouched. And a new word, read. Doors to feet and open. So if I can go and touch that. Um, well, funny enough, it didn't take me out. So I can roam all over the place, it looks like. Trees are going to block me. And 
out. Baba is push. I could undo that, or I could redo it, of course. Um, belt is push. Perhaps would get those belts out of the way. I don't really need them. At least not at first glance. I don't see a way that they would help me solve the problem. Um, maybe getting them under the words shut and defeat can make some sort of difference. Um, but I can't go further under to, you know, extract a word or something. So, at least at first glance, they don't seem very useful. KKSU, how about this push belt is shift. We have a doors defeat and read. It's defeat or shut if we push things over. And a baba that is just hanging out. It's interesting with these shift levels, I'm guessing there is a play mechanic that I still haven't discovered that would help me go through um, these kind of tight right angle moves in the map. I'll have to think on that though. I just stop, trees stop, and what else could we do? And there it is, KK is push. And I can't become Baba is you, of course. And let's do some undo real quick, just because these other setups are all changeable. Let's see. There is that move, but it's just sitting there doing nothing. So if we had a Baba's move and went out in some particular direction with Baba running around really help anything, I, I don't see it kind of bad. Same thing with KK, of course. Um, the door is shut and open. It's a tricky phrase. Let's see what happens. That makes it go away. Ah, the reed becomes defeat. I see now. So it's funny, the door would disappear on us, but then the reed would cause a problem. And it said Baba is not responsive. Um, perhaps Baba running into the reed would clear this. But if we could do that, then I feel that there has to be a positioning of Baba that would get me um, in a safe zone, the reed, to where I could be in between the reed and the door, and Baba could um, take care of the dirty work there. <laughs> and. Um, push things out of the way for me, so let's try that. Probably position things in a horrible manner here, but we'll, we'll go with the blow. Actually, we'll take that back, that's, that's particularly bad. So the belt is pushed, we'll, we'll get these a little bit more out of the way so I don't waste too much time trying to wrangle these around. There we go. I think that'll do. So. We can have Baba over there, and we need to take out the is and the push. Oops. Not bad, I need to actually start the horizontal before we get to the vertical move part. Okay, thanks Baba. And this will just be a kind of playing with it situation. We'll see how far we can get. Oh, it's not very far at all. So, how far would Baba have to be over 
before things would work out in our favor. That's the question now. So, we would need Baba to be pretty far away. And perhaps this is where the shifts could come into play. We can't go like that because that's obviously too close. Um, if we go like this, we're definitely not going to have enough space. Let's see how many paces we're off one. Well, several. So we have a lot of ground to cover. Um, Baba needs to give me enough time to make it well over there. Um, and having the shifts with the belt could make all the difference. Um, let's just take it back. I'm pretty sure we're going to solve this now. It's just a matter of experimentation. Time consuming, but we'll get it. So, this one needs to be, I would say a downshift would give us the furthest away. And assuming Baba can run into that and start walking left or right, I think we would be good. But I don't know if Baba will do that for sure, so let's just see what happens when we get Baba started on a left or right walking pattern and see if the shift works. Oh, it's going to turn into a um, up and down only, but that might not be a problem. Maybe I can turn on the shift and that would be enough to change the direction of Baba's travel and thus give me time to make it over to the right side. I feel like this has to be it. So we'll try again. Yeah, that's as far as we can go, so we have to do something like this, I believe. Okay, um, and then we will need to get the Papa and his push lined up. And we need to get Papa as far as we can over. I believe that's the absolute furthest we can do here. This is feeling fairly optimal. And we just start walking. Ah, oh, we're off by one. So let's try again. Just want to make absolutely sure this is the shortest path. So. Oh, it's a race. Oh, we're so close. So let's take it back quite a bit. I need Papa, if at all possible, to walk a little bit further. I wish I could get Baba to start here. No, well, maybe I can. Let's see. Perhaps maybe walking right to left is not the right way, but instead up and down would be the better way. So let's just try this. See if it makes a distance difference. Oops, I'm gonna take it back just in case I misstepped a little. Ah, it's even worse than our previous one. So, how could we improve this? The belt is shift. Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, Baba, how can we fix this? Well, Baba doesn't have to go paste down from right here. Baba could actually paste from here, perhaps. So let's go all the way back to belt is push. And I'm going to have to go as far back as needing the belt to not be, the top belt to be pushed down all the way that it is like it is now. I want to actually have it a couple layers higher. So we'll start here. And I think it is a couple extra steps may be all we need. It may actually be more than we need. Let's see. Okay. I'll buy this push. I think that, that is the absolute minimum distance needed. Oh yeah, I think we have this time, y'all. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, well that was definitely a very two-dimensional thing, and I could have went even further up with Baba, um, but it's cool to see what that approximate, approximate minimum was. Let's try out level f 5, the patrol. Okay, let's check the rules. Tree is push, Baba is you while the stop, flag is win, tree is tree, skull is defeat, skull is move, door is sink, door has tree, text is float. Okay. So interestingly we have these skulls moving around as I move. No matter which direction, they're kind of moving at a constant rate. There's water I can cross. Skull is a feet though. And running into the door makes a tree appear. This door is also a sink. Tree is push. Perhaps a door is tree coming into play somehow. And with tree being pushed, will that help us any? Maybe tree is sink could um, take out our skulls. Let's see how they're going to help us um, advance. Hmm. Well, that only gets rid of one of them. So, is there any way I could cross with this many skulls in our way? She doesn't look like it. So, tree is push, door is tree, is sink, and it has all the stop, flag is wind, tree is tree, text is float, bye bye is you, skull is defeat and move. Maybe this is similar to the, some of the other levels where we can do um, multiples of an object. So as we transform, we actually generate something else. So like this door has tree. Um, we do something like door or tree has tree after transforming. So let's say door is tree would be our transformation and then we could do door or tree has tree and that would defeat them so we'll do tree is push and if timing is right and then we have tree has tree and tree is sink. I'm going to take out all these skulls. And then maybe on the last one. Ah. Well, actually, maybe just having one less would be enough to get past it. 
and we can walk past it anyway, so we can just follow along. Oops, I'm off by one. Run, little skull, run. There we go. First attempt. <laughs> Let's try out level 10. Lovely house. Okay. Love is stopped. Door is stopped. Text is float. Key is open. Key is push. Rock is push. Water is sink. Door is shut. Papa is you. Flag is win. Oh man. Key and rock is push. Okay, love and door is stop, key is open, door is shut. Um, we can always do a rock is key and transform it. I don't know if that would get us anything, so we can't even move it, so we need an and push. Complete that out. But, that's not going to work either. We need a key is push. That would get us as far as opening that. But water is sink. So we can go that far, but it feels like we need something else. Yeah, that's really tricky. Um, we could always transform something such as Baba is you into Rock is you. And that lets us play as a rock, you know, which is super cool. But I don't think it'll help us really. So, flag is win. Could, uh, could I somehow <clears throat> work something over there? We only have two objects. A key and a rock. And I don't have the as word to um, change things up here. I was wondering if there would be a way to make multiple of the same object or something to play this one out, but I don't think that there is. So I'm trying to think of other ways of making this come together. It's okay. We'll think about it and then check out <clears throat> check out level 13 next.
Ooh, a whole lot of rules. Key is open. Box says key. Key is you. Key is weak. Box is weak. Door is shut. Door is stop. Wall is stop. Flag is win and bug is defeat. Oh yeah, I'm very weak as a key, and I can't run into the bugs either. I could open a singular door. If I remove the and weak, I can run into a wall at least, but I'd still only be open one door. could become a whole bunch of boxes. <laughs> but even them won't take out the bugs. Hmm. The box is weak as well. That's a problem. It must mean it is kind of fun destroying the boxes over and over though. Could we... I don't think we can extract anything. Honestly, it looks like playing against boxes right now is not helping in any way, shape, or form. Can I move some words over? Sure looks like I can. Um, perhaps a... Pushing over all these words. Could do something, but he is open. It's not gonna really leave me with anything. Like, I think that this would leave me stuck compared to where I was before. So. Could I push something over to the right hand side? I'd still be able to turn into the boxes um, when I'm ready. Perhaps, but can I do box has key is you, is you and we? Actually, can. Um, so, fortunately, I can't, I can't just switch this with and switch the key aspect of things. Um, so that would leave me with the weak in particular, I think, could go over. Um, however, nothing really makes sense, even with that, like, I can push over has as well and that's not going to allow me to make anything new or novel that it's going to help my situation i believe i mean i can extract take it back just a little bit from the and in the week but they're not going to be playable on anything on the right hand side so, pushing things past the bugs does not seem like the right way to approach this. It's not at first glance. Box has key. I've never tried box or something has you. No, it does not like that. Okay. And the end week. Just makes me think that's not a way. And the bug is the feet is problematic. Um, we could do something like box has bug or key has bug, perhaps, but it's still going to be defeat. Um, 
maybe I could make them weak and that would allow the boxes to take some of them out. Um, so let's try that. I have no idea if this will contribute, so let's see. Oh! Bug is defeat and weak, so that lets me push words, take out bugs, right? It does. So, if I can have enough boxes survive such that I could do a transformation, I may just be able to beat this. Um, because I would just do um, boxes key, I believe. Um, feels like I'm on the verge of solving this one, but not quite there yet. So, box has key, and key is weak, or key is you and weak. Try shoving your has keyword back up here. This time I'm going to go for the middle. I think I didn't do that previously. And the and weak. Actually, I've already messed up a little, so let's take the has back. And we'll take the and weak. There we go. And we will transform into the box. Okay. We can sacrifice one box, two boxes, in order to scoop the rest of this phrase over. And push it all over. Um, so, bug is defeat and weak. Unfortunately, the max keys we'd be able to get with this would be 8. We include the one on the left with the transformation. Oh man, so tricky. Um, but it's, if key is no longer weak, then could we just bust through and we leave us with we are losing boxes, so let's see. That leaves us with five and that would be enough if we could transform now. So boxes you and we really need like a box has key is you at this point, I would say. However, box has key is you. Maybe we can now. Ah! Box has key is you. Destroying the boxes isn't leaving behind a key we can use. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. So... We can't undo that. I did see it rendered a key when I did though. Um... Hmm. We take advantage of that somehow. So the bugs are just hanging out right, and I don't think they can make a further contribution. Key 
has box. Gonna be a phrase, it's possible still. We try that. However, I may have damage things a little too much here. Um, with my pushing of everything around, maybe if I go one less, I can get this to a safe spot. Let's see. Nope, that's still going to be a problem. Um, so, he has box, still won't do anything. Um, box is open, won't do anything. Um, box says door, won't help. Key is door, won't help. Oopsie. Yeah, I think I'm going to go further back before I move the boxes underneath and made all this stuff inaccessible, so bear with me. Okay. I wish I could move everything up instead of just the one little shift. I think that's part of what's keeping me uh, broken here. is weak. Well, maybe I can shift both at once. There we go. Um, so that would leave me with five things here. Five total objects to play with. Which makes me wish I could get has in here somehow. The box has key. previous levels that we can solve and getting close to my stream time limit, so let's see. Oh, we're so close. So nice if we can move it over. But I don't think we're gonna be able to. We'll have to take a look at another map level. Maybe there's something new on one of these level other levels. We've been in the forest this whole time, so maybe one of these rocket trip levels will play nicely. Empty. Baba Z built a shift. Cloud. That's new art. This stop. Flag is win. Empty is also a new, a new word too. So, about empty is cloud. <laughs> so empty, I suppose, is a keyword for any of the space that's not occupied by some sort of item. Belt is shift, so... Maybe let's see what Belt is Empty does. That would be interesting, I'm sure. Now, Baba is Empty could possibly solve this one too. And I'm curious if it would. Um, that means I'd occupy like everything. As a matter of fact, I want to check it out just to see from an experimentation standpoint what that does. Oh, it just eliminates me. Okay. Well, another fresh first try one for the night, so I think that that's two or three first try for the stream, so I'm pretty excited about that. Alright, 
Annie, so that's the one. Annie is best. Papa is Eve. Flag is win. Door is stop and wall is stop. Stork. Um Door is empty. Seems like the only thing I can really do here. And that gets me past that first little gap. Baba is you. Annie is best. Flag is win. Wall is stop. Looks like I suppose this is cloud around me. Um Baba is empty, it's just gonna kill me, I suppose. So that's not really good. Um, we have Baba's doors possibility. Flag is empty. That's just gonna make it disappear, right? So that's not good. We could do empty as wall. Best is a new word. I wonder if it's just adding the sparkle. If it's some sort of Easter egg, because I don't see how this uh, adds anything to it. <laughs> the Vanity's wall is pretty cute. That's fun. It is always really fun to see how these uh, different roles play into the game. Bob is you. And an is is hanging out there. If we do empty a stop, would that just make it to where I can't go anywhere? I suppose it will. Let's just see if it just immobilizes me immediately. It does. Ah, so there are these little sparkle bits and I can move through those, which is very interesting. So I think that no matter what I have to do, this door is empty. And then could I do a empty his door and get somewhere? Get trapped is where I get. And in any of those sparkling spots, I don't think moving empty his door into playability would help anything. Because all I would be doing is toggling the presence of empty. best. I just feel like surely this is Easter egg or just hanging out there because I don't see any way that that's going to um, come into play. Maybe we could do flag is door and door is empty or empty is door. Okay, so that would make it disappear, but we could do empty his door. And perhaps, perhaps, perhaps that doesn't work. The door is stop. Disrupting that. I think can help us no matter what. And we can't do something like when is empty, of course. And this is definitely part of the creative process. We know this isn't gonna work. So, flag is door. I 
don't see that working. And there is the whole wall that's top over to the side. Like, could we somehow change that around? There would be Dora's wall. Which I haven't tried yet. I did try the Empty's wall, which made a bunch of things change into wall, but didn't really help, of course. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know on this one. Let's go take a look at the next level, um, level 4, and we'll see if it comes any more naturally. Please hold my key. We have key is push, key is fall, flag is wind, door is shut, cloud is stop, door is stop, Baba is you. Okay, so we have this new word fall, which I suppose adds kind of a concept of gravity for some objects because I push the key and this kind of flops over to the side. So that is going to be extra tricky. And that's kind of hilarious, transforming myself and falling over as a key immediately. Um, of course, it's a classic key is open, and I suppose we could ferry the key over, but it's going to flop over the moment something like that happens. So could I use a word that it doesn't matter if it's disrupted, like the word key, and push it over? And then use the word is to push it over again and just keep doing this until we're ready for I, I suppose what Baba is you to act like a platform. Let's try this. Is almost a single try. And so that leaves me with at least three levels um, inside the rocket trip, which I have not explored yet. And I think I took a maybe one peek at the flower garden, but I'd like to leave these unexplored since we're right at one hour now. And we'll go ahead and call it a stream for the day. So thank you for watching. This has been S tier rank. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, or YouTube, and I'll post the replay for today's stream here in just a couple minutes. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.